Good day, it's Jeffrey with Hell's Carpet Cleaning on this beautiful, warm, sunny day. I'm out here in uh, Sandy, Oregon, and we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, carpet cleaning. I've already done a uh, pre-vacuum with the Kirby Vacuum Cleaner, and surprisingly enough, I probably filled up about a quarter of the bag um, after, you know, the, the carpeting has already been, you know, professionally cleaned by company XYZ, so... You know, I always go back through because the suckage on this thing is mm, quite a bit more than a typical vacuum cleaner. But uh, what we are going to be doing today is performing what I call hybrid carpet cleaning. And as we go along, I will explain that exactly what that is. Um, for now, uh, one of the reasons I do a uh, pre-vacuum is because it allows me to thoroughly examine all the carpeting for uh, spots and stains. I notice what look like might be silly putty or gum or something up in one of the closets. A couple of, of uh, synthetic colored areas that I'm going to pre-treat right now just so that we can get them done and out of the way so that you know it has time to dwell while we are working up the rest of the carpets and then everything should look perfect by the time we're done. Uh, I'll be uh, back to uh, to uh, follow our progress as we go here. Okay, here we are upstairs. Uh, the first place of uh, troubled area what we may possibly have is this little red spot which really isn't a problem area because you, you can see I've got this uh, bottle of red one stain remover. It is very good on synthetic uh, coloring and all we're going to do is just spray that on there. So what I'm going to do is I'll spray it on there and then later on I can show you some results on that. As you can see it's been treated. It's got the spray on there and it's just going to dwell and um, just pull that spot right out. The second area of concern I have is in this room here, let's see this nasty, crusty, you know, I, honestly, I don't know what it is, but what I have here is our hell gel, and it's a thick paste that goes on there, um, citrus base, and it's just going to kind of dissolve it and eat away at that. So I'll, we will go ahead and apply that on there right now. There we go. It's kind of a thick, gooey paste, but it sits there right on top of the carpet, and, and can just kind of eats away and will completely dissolve that thing. Um, one thing that is really nice about this product is that it can be used on duct tape and gum and all kinds of stuff. And it has, contains no res soap residue or sticky residues or anything like that. So after it dissolves something, it pretty much neutralizes it. And it is safe just to leave it as it is. So um, actually this Hell Gel by Vacaway products... I would uh, highly recommend this to anyone who um, wants to clean stuff up in their own house. Again, it's great for sticky products such as gum, candy, um, silly putty, that, those kind of items. Um, the bottle, you know, if you read the directions on there, it does say that it will clean up tar and makeup and that kind of stuff. I ha don't run across a whole lot of makeup. Um, but no doubt I probably will at some point. Okay, and in this bedroom here, it looks like we have a couple ink spots on the floor. So what I'm going to use for that is this, what's called a POG. It stands for Paint Oil Grease Remover. And I'm just going to apply some of that there onto that spot and then use this cherry cloth rag to absorb that stain. So... Uh, let's check out what we can get done here. Okay, I'm back again with the uh, ink spots that were here. As you can see, it's it's pretty much gone. Um, the same with that one over there. And there was another one back over there in the corner that I got. Um, this is what I mean by absorbing the ink. As you can see, when you uh, put the POG stuff on there, you can pretty much just um, dab that stuff right out. I mean, it takes a little bit of time working at it, but... Um, does a pretty good job of coming up. Okay, we're now prepped and ready to go for our next stage of our hybrid carpet cleaning. What I will be doing is putting down our encapsulation pre-spray, which consists of a bit of a, a good degreaser as well as a peroxide-based uh, solution for uh, pretty much 
you know, typical food stains, petroleum here and there. Um, it's good for deodorizing, neutralizing, and sanitizing as well, all in one uh, solution there. So it's a great high quality product. I'm going to use our cylindrical brush machine, also known as a CRB or a counter rotating brush. And we're going to use that to agitate this solution deep into the carpeting fibers. And then we will go over and, and uh, to the second phase of our carpet clean, hybrid carpet cleaning, which will include our extraction with the Rotovac power wand. And I will get to, back to you when we come to that. Okay, and we're back to this nasty spot in the closet here where that was gum or some sort of a putty, who knows. But we're kind of at an intermediate point. Um, I put some of the stuff, the, our hell gel here, down on there to help break it up. Um, I kind of agitated and broke it up a bit. I'm going to apply some more hell gel on there and continue um, agitating and breaking it up. But as you can see, it's kind of just... Um, disintegrating and breaking apart, but we will continue working at it until it completely disappears. Okay, and we're back on the same spot. A um, bit more of it is actually coming out. Um, as you can see, a little bit of remnants of it there. But we'll uh, just continue working on it. It's almost all the way completely out. There's probably some deep down inside, so we're just going to take more of the hell gel and uh, groom it in there and let it continue to break down and dissolve all that nasty sticky residue. And that there is pretty much our final result. Um, I'll probably you know go over it again with the encapsulation brush machine just to uh, you know spruce it up a bit and you know clean and kill any residue that might be you know residually in there and uh, we'll be on our way. Okay, I am back in the house here in Sandy, Oregon, lovely Sandy, Oregon, and I've gone, already gone through this entire place, and I have uh, performed encapsulation, and I have uh, done the stairways already, and now we are coming in here to perform our extraction here in the uh, front room area, and as we can see, we have our rotovac counter rotating heads with injection sprayers and lots of suction so we are going to clean this place up and we'll do a final walkthrough and show you what we've got okay Jeffrey Howells with Howells Carpet Cleaning House in Sandy um, we're going to be coming back through here for our walk, final walk through to show you what we did. Um, again, we encapsulated pretty much everything upstairs because the debris, you know, found in the upper areas isn't nearly like the debris found downstairs on the shoes. See, very clean. Um, did have one note here. In the bedroom, we had some uh, nasty, sticky stuff, but I think we already established that that all came up and is good and gone. Crap it in here, looks great. Um, we did encapsulate and extract the stairways. The stairways always look perfect every time. And then we finish off with encapsulation and hot water extraction downstairs. Jeffrey with House Carpet Cleaning, signing out.